Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and in this video, I want to go over my experience in farming chia and go over what you know whether or not it's profitable to farm chia in the first place. If you want the short answer and won't stick to the end of the video, I understand. Basically, yeah, it's profitable, but I wouldn't go out and spend thousands of dollars on storage or hardware just to farm chia. It is not recommended, and I don't recommend it, and I don't condone it. Plain and simple, if you already have the storage allocated or the storage available, you might as well do it. However, what about the very small farmer, the person with the four or eight terabyte or 10 terabyte? Well, stay tuned, let's get into it. First off, huge shout out to Space Pool. Uh, Sean and the team, uh, Caleb at Coin Breakthrough have really done a great job. This pool has grown so much and I'm impressed. However, much of the network hash rate is still unknown. About 47, almost 50% of the network hash rate is coming from an unknown source. Now, I've tested H pool, I've tested core pool, space pool, flex pool. Um, we're gonna be primarily focusing on space and flex pool, but core pool still hasn't released their revision to allow NFT poolable plots. So you can only utilize that if you have solo plots, which is actually good because I know a lot of you do have solo plots and you still want to earn Chia. So you can use Core Pool to do that for the time being while you work on allocating or creating poolable plots with the remaining storage that you have left. Uh, Space Pool's overall network hash rate has increased to one, basically over one exabyte um, and going even further beyond that. Its minimum payout is 0.01, which I can confirm. I believe the fee pool or the pool fee is about 1%. It should be 1% as of now because it, it, it's, it was free or 0% towards the beginning or opening of the pool, just not now. Core pool is 2% with a minimum payout of 0.05. And then flex pool, it says 0.01, but it's actually 01 because it actually took me quite a minute to get that payout. Let me scroll down here. So you can see uh, their numbers wise, it took me 11 days to get a payout of 0.1 Chia. I have about 70 terabytes of storage and I'm going to give you a bunch of numbers here in just a minute. Uh, the numbers on space pool are inaccurate and the numbers on flex pool are inaccurate because I switched over. Now I will tell you when switching your NFT pullable plots from one pool to the other, space pool is faster to let you go and switch to the new pool than flex pool is. I forgot the number. I talked about it in a previous video. Uh, but it's it's not something that will break the bank. It's not something that you should be really concerned about. Uh, the cool thing is is now that you build your plots on use, using the NFT pullable uh, contract, then you're good to go. You can switch to whichever pool that you choose and see fit. If you want my personal recommendation, I would say Space Pool. Uh, they have servers in the US, EU, Asia. Flex Pool is the same US, EU, Asia. Uh, they do if. You farm on a pool, just like crypto mining. When you farm on a pool that's smaller, the payouts are the payouts frequency is uh, not as high or not as much, so you won't get payouts as often. But the payouts amounts will be bigger. Whereas in a pool that has much of the network hash rate, will have smaller payouts, and but it'll be more frequently. So you just got to find that sweet spot for you, your setup, your system, and kind of go from there. Currently, right now, with my data. I uh, kind of calculated everything all out and stuff like that. What I seen on average was when mining, or excuse me, farming, which is the correct terminology that Chia uh, devs and people tell me, is that farming on space pool, I see on average, and I will actually bump this down because this is data accumulated over time, on average 0 0.015 to 0 0.03 bumping that down chia a day it really depends also on luck and a couple other variables uh, with a payout threshold threshold of 0 0.01 that's about and I'm gonna have to bump this down as well but that's about 0.5 to 0 0.78 chia a month with 70 terabytes uh, again variance is accounted for and stuff like that or well it needs to be accounted for it's not accounted for in my data so far you know the price of chia the luck on the pool, the luck on the block, your shares, a number of variables come into play. So with flex pool, I saw an average of 0 0.012 to 0 0.02 a day uh, with the payout threshold of 0.1 and that was on average about 0 0.3887 Chia a month. Uh, so that's, it's not bad, it's not you know life changing money but it's definitely something that if you already have the storage available or allocated you, you can utilize it or and earn 
additional revenue. So you're gonna have to determine, is that something that you wanna do? If you're somebody that stores a lot of videos, torrents videos, or creates content like a YouTuber or anything like that, and you have to store these videos somewhere and you're running out of storage, then no, I would delete the plots and store your videos. Those are more, more important to you, um, as well as, you know, you just have to make the choice on what you wanna do. As a small farmer, Chia was not designed for us. It was designed for corporations, enterprises, that already had the storage or the server space allocated um, that you know maybe weren't being utilized or underutilized and they can use this to earn additional revenue for the company and so on and so forth. Uh, so as for a small person, not so much. And that's why the cost to entry that a lot of people talk about is you know if you don't have 100 terabytes, uh, you might as well not even do it and stuff like that. But you can use the math to help you determine whether or not this is something you want to pursue. I'm going to stick with my 100 terabytes because, again, this is hardware that I already had, storage I already had, or accumulated over time, doing various odd jobs. I'm not going to sit there and buy a whole bunch of external drives connected via USB hubs and stuff. I'm not going to do all that. That's just no point. But moving on, with my average amount of Chia earned uh, per day, about 0.0. 026 and that's actually a little bit lower um, again gets me 0 0.78 and this is by a month so right if we take the average days in a month 30 times that by daily earnings so 0 0.2 0 0.26 uh, that's looking about 144 USD a day or fiat currency uh, you're gonna have to convert it for whatever country you're in but with the calculator in mind the Chia calculator in mind I'm I'm, I'm inclined to not trust a calculator, but also not trust my, my, my math and kind of get an average. And my average in my mind is anywhere from 80 to $120 a month that I'm earning off of 70 terabytes of storage. I do plan on having 100, but right now what I'm not including in my video is I have some uh, plots, solo plots that were originally created, about 40 terabytes worth, that are farming on core pool. They're not included in the data, they're not included in this video. Uh, but I do plan on switching those over, deleting it little by little, and swapping them over to pullable or NFT plots, so that way I will have 100 terabytes, a little bit over 100 terabytes that I can use to earn. But right now with 70, about 80 to $120 a month, depending on the price of Chia, which can go up or down. My math right here of 144 was based on more, uh, you know, me earning 0.78 Chia a month which may be drastically lower. Let's, let's do it right now, 0 0.5, right? Times 185, which is $2 less than what Chia is right now, and that's under 100 bucks, so 92.5 for my 70 terabytes a month. So with that said, you need to take this data and determine whether or not this is something you wanna do. But the variables that are at play is not only the amount of hash rate that's on the pool that you're on, right? So the more, again, higher the higher the hash rate, the more frequent the payouts, but the less um, the less you will earn uh, per payout. The pool that has a less hash rate or a lesser hash rate, you'll have um, less frequent payouts, but you earn more per payout. Additionally, something I want to point out is is I noticed a variance when I switched pools. When I was on Space Pool, as you can see here, point successful in the last 24 hours is 100%. When I was on Space Pool, or excuse me, Flex Pool. I was averaging anywhere from 92 to 94 percent and I'm not sure if that's pool side I'm not sure if that's my side or what because I have a NAS right network attached storage that has most of the storage and my main machine creates the plots and has some storage on it not all of it the biggest thing that we need to be aware of is that you need to be able to look up right so when it says uh, passing the plot filter um, you need to be able to look up your system needs to be able to look it up in under five seconds two seconds preferred additionally to earn that reward you got to get it under 28 seconds or less the most common issue is due to network delay or drive speed if you if, if you are over 28 seconds for inclusion you will lose out on that reward so there's tools out there like PSG a plotter that allows you to test that out and the, the the time frame or to make sure that everything you know was is within the parameters outlined by Chia. Um, I, ha I probably do a video on that. If you want me to, let me know down in the comments below. But as of right now, at time of filming, is Chia profitable to mine? My answer would be yes, but 
don't go spending thousands of dollars on hardware because it's not worth it if you do that. If you already have the storage and you accumulated the storage over time and you didn't spend much on it or you got it from a garage sale, great. You know, just bear in mind, drive, drive failure is possible uh, depending on the age and the technology uh, for that drive. Some drives are still out there from years ago. And if you use the Chia calculator, that would give you some information, but it's not exactly accurate. But if we say 24 terabytes, of storage right now it's 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 really making it way higher than I I'm I'm telling you I, I don't trust the calculators um, they're not always right and it doesn't take into account variance luck uh, you know network hash rate uh, whether or not you're passing the plot filters for what is your percentage for signage points all that stuff but that's gonna do it for me today I hope the data was useful in some form or fashion to you I thank you so much for stopping by. If you have any contributing information that you can provide, please leave it down in the comments below. If you've got constructive criticism, I'd love to hear from you. Just be respectful about it. But do me a favor, on the way out, hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bells, as well as check out any of the links down below that help support the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Like to dojelord.com where you can get sweet Serpent X merch and much more from many of the crypto content creators. You guys take care. I'll catch you next one.